it's a very choreographed process table flying it, it, it to a layman it doesn't look like like anything's going on but there's a lot going on each each table pick is coordinated in a sequence same with the way they rebuild the tables it's all coordinated within a sequence that's what keeps it safe and keeps it moving efficiently The crane operator has two radios. He'll be communicating with the, 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 the crew that's on the deck that's flying the tables. He's also, he can be communicated with the guy on the ground that's doing the road closures. So when it comes to a point where they're gonna fly a table over the road, they can communicate with the guy on the road and he can go out and stop traffic and pedestrians from walking. So we can do that procedure safely. When well, there's guys on the ground spotting, we have at least six guys. We have to ask, sometimes have to block traffic if we fly over the road. We have to block the sidewalk. We have to block access into the site. There's up to about six people plus a traffic control person on the road when we're flying tables. It's a big, it's a, it's a big ordeal for safety. Okay, behind me here is one of the tables we're using at 1021 West Tasting. They're in the process of flying it. They're waiting for the crane to hook up. As soon as the crane hooks up, we can lower the table down so it'll clear the beam. And then these guys underneath will communicate with the guys on top through radios um, to maneuver the table out. Usually we run with three to four guys. There'll be two guys in the lead, which are tied off here. There'll be a guy behind and he runs a cart. What happens is when the crane initially hooks up, we lower the tables down and then they push out and they'll be communicating with the guys up top. Um, they're an efficient way of moving uh, a large quantity of deck. It's around 9,000 square feet of deck here and we can move it within about four hours. Um, we implemented a handrail system on the front of the tables to make it safer. It allows us to walk to the front of the table without being tied off. The tarps on the front of the table we install in the winter time and we use the heat under, under the slab because we're trying to get the concrete to come up to strength early. And in the winter time, it's too cold. So we, these tarps keep the heat in. They're, they're placed on the front of the tables. We don't run tarps in the summertime because it's warm enough. In Vancouver, BC, we're allowed to fly tables. In some parts of the continent, you're not because of safety. And we've been flying tables for years, um, probably 40 years. Um, they're a quick and efficient way of building a deck, especially a repetitive deck on like a high rise. Because you're moving a larger chunk of deck than loose form, because there's fewer pieces. Like on a job like this, we have like 20 tables, so it's 20 lifts, 20 picks. Normally, if we can start in the morning and we get a clean start, we can move all the tables in four hours. There's no way that you could lose form that quickly. There's just no way. It would take you the whole day, for sure. The amount of pieces you'd have to, you'd have to put up here would be unbelievable. The crane operator is a, an important part of the job. He's like the heart of the job. He, he's a young guy, he's highly trained. He worked underneath me for years um, before we gave him an opportunity to operate the crane. He's one of my best operators, and he's very skilled at what he does. Anyone that's working on the leading edge needs to be tied off. If you're not, you're not allowed up here. Every employee that wears a harness has to go through an orientation, which takes a day. It's a training course, how to use a harness. And everyone that wears one has to take the course. 
and then anyone working on the tables that's on the leading edge needs to be tied off. And we use these retractables. Uh, it's like a cable retractable. Uh, we find that to be the most efficient way of doing it and the safest. You pull the string out and it retracts back into it. It's a cable actually. And it's hooked to a spring. So as you go out, and it comes out with you and then when you go back, it goes back in. It's that way that you're not tripping over the cable. It's always contained in a small unit that's held behind you. Jim implemented these, tie, these unique tie-off points on the deck. A lot of thought went into the locations according to where we need them for the tables. It works like a seat belt. Um, if there's a sudden jerk, it locks up, preventing you from pulling more cable out of it. That's how it helps, that's how it prevents you when you fall off the building or fall anywhere. It'll lock up and then it prevents you from falling. Some of these guys have a lot of experience. Some of the guys don't. The junior guys have to work with the senior guys. Some of these guys have around 10, 15 years experience. I have 35 years experience. So I've been doing this a long time. I've trained everyone up until this point. Now they, you get to a point where I do most, I did all the training and then, uh, then they train themselves. As new people come on, they've already learned the task. They train other people. I want to be oh. 